although most of them turned up safely three days later, wearing tutus and giggling uncontrollably. Now it's time to hand over to our intrepid reporter, Ray, who's coming to us live from a jungle somewhere. So, Ray, where are you exactly, and what potentially riveting news story do you have for us today? Well, Kat, we're here in the deepest, darkest part of the Mambo jungle in search of the lost Wako Oko tribe. They disappeared over 200 years ago, and no one has seen or heard from them since. There have been mysterious clues found over the years which point to their continued existence, including a decorative Wako Oko arrow with flights fashioned from the feathers of the Buku bird, a blue handprint found on a tree branch made with the juice of the poom berry, which is a favorite of the lost tribe. Only a few years ago, there were reports of strange distant music coming from somewhere in the jungle. Ear witnesses say that it sounded very much like the Wako Oko bamboo nose flute, but no evidential recordings were made. Some say they have disappeared forever. Others that they have retreated far into the jungle away from the encroaching modern world. Either way, our long and arduous journey and intensive search seem to have been in vain, and in this reporter's opinion, the Wako Oko tribe will sadly never be seen again. So the tribe has well and truly vanished? That's correct, Cat. Okay, then. More incredible investigative reporting from Ray next week, folks. But for now, it's goodbye from Channel Z News. little thing. What are you? Hello, I'm a fly. And what funny looking thing are you? I'm the boy from far away. What do flies do? Um, a few things, but mainly just fly around. Wow, that sounds fun. Can I fly around with you? You might be a bit big for flying around. <laughs> I've got an idea. Hey, that's cool. Jump on board. <laughs> I'm stuck. We'll never get out of this spider's web. Mmm, dinner time. Dinner time? Oh no, I think he's going to eat us. I think it's me he wants to eat. He thinks I'm tasty. Like beans and banana? No, chocolate. Now, how do we get out of this web? Hmm, I think I have an idea. Hold on tight. <laughs> Phew, that was close. Are you okay, Fly? I'm okay. Thanks, boy. Boy, dinner's ready. Come on, 
Fly. Let's go and have some dinner. Do you like beans? No. Bananas? Oh, yes. My favourite. Ah! Boy, get that fly away from your food. Oh. But he's having some bananas. And to add to his embarrassment, one of them turned out to be a member of the same badminton club. Well, it's no secret in the newsroom that I believe in ghosts. <laughs> <clears throat> Where was I? <clears throat> oh yes, our intrepid reporter Ray is about to visit Ghostly Manor, which some say is the world's most haunted house. <laughs> Look at him jump. This is going to be good, viewers. I don't believe in all that ghosty nonsense, which is why I'm the best man to go in and report on all these so-called scary goings-on. <laughs> Whoa, what was that? That's more thunder and lightning, Ray. Don't tell me you're scared of the weather. I'm scared of nothing. I am an intrepid news reporter, I'll have you know. Now, if you excuse me, it's time for me to investigate this haunted house. I might even stay the night. So unscary does it look from here. Oh! Ah! Be back tomorrow when we've managed to drag him away from the arms of his mummy. <laughs> Aw, poor Ray.